All right, guys, it's 6.05. Let's go ahead and get started. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Superstars Training University. I'm in the car driving, so you can't see me. This is Senior Field Trainer Thedra, and I am so excited because it is Trial Run Part 2, Part Tuesday. And we are so, I'm so excited because you're going to hear some good information. Every time we try these trial runs, we are learning something new, and we're learning how to perfect it. And the man who is going to teach us how to perfect it has saw some great results from himself and his team. We are seeing some great results. This is none other than regional sales director, Mr. Ivan Brown. He is doing 25000 a month in business, and he is adding to his organization like crazy. So regional sales director, Ivan Brown, please take over and school us today. Uh, thank you for that intro, Thedra. Uh, how you guys, how you get superstars out there doing? Um, it is my pleasure to come before you today and give you this training. Uh, before I start, I want to just say I can't say enough about Miss Thedra Diller. Uh, you can tell she, uh, she she's uh, she's she's tight on those introductions. All right, and um, uh, but she is a she is a senior field trainer with our company, bringing in a well over well over five thousand dollars a month in sales. She was about to be a sales director. We're gonna go ahead and confess it now because in June, uh, this sales month of June. We're going to see her cross the line as sales director. We're confessing it now. All right. So, uh, Ms. Deidre Diller, she is a, she, we call her the credit nista. All right. She is uh, real nice with the credit. She uh, keeps me on point with my technical stuff. Um, Deidre, uh, she knows 100% of the information. She is a true certified credit expert. And she's a licensed realtor, by the way, too, as well. So, Deidre, thank you for that wonderful intro. Uh, we, we are so glad, I'm so glad to have you on my team. And we're expecting great things from you this month. All right. All right, guys. Welcome to superstars training university stu we're gonna to have to get us a, a, a hbcu band and everything like that and uh, get us a little drum line uh, for stu superstars training university all right so welcome to stu today guys we're going to be doing the trial run part two okay if you have not seen trial one trial run part one you can go on the superstars page and you can get that also there's a youtube link i think on the page too as well that has a link to the first training there all right but what but guess what Life is ever increasing. It should be. And guess what? The, uh, we've, we've perfected the training more. Guess what? Some of the discon slight disconnects and gaps we had, guess what? Where we've been able to fill those. So today I want to give you an A, B, C of what to do on this trial run. And if, uh, if you're new to the business, guys, you need, to, you need to be doing this because I'm telling you right now, it can get you off to a serious start, okay? And so really, you guys just make sure that you make the post, do what we tell you to do. We're going to give it to, we're going to, give it to you A to Z. ABC uh, type and and you and, and make sure that you follow through and take the action. All right. And before I get started too, I want to just uh, give a shout out to uh, our leadership, Mr. Uh, Executive Vice President Tony Camilleri, uh, Vice President Kendra Pack, and the uh, host of uh, uh, ESDs um, that we have. And congratulations everybody on the new promotions, guys. Um, our, our team did very well this month as far as promotions. Um, uh, I mean, we, we, uh, our team, you know, we 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 we. We, we, were, we were leading the charge there, all right? So guys, uh, well, congratulations on everybody on the line and, uh, who, and whose team got promotions uh, this past weekend, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'm not gonna be long before you tonight. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to keep this down to about 30, 35 minutes or so, but y'all know I'm a pastor. And so y'all know I get three closings. Okay, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try to keep it down to 30, 35 minutes, but I can't promise that, all right? But I'm gonna do my best, okay? So we're gonna jump right into this and then maybe we'll open it up for some uh, Q&A at the very end, okay? So, all right, let me share my screen here. Boom. Somebody chime in real quick, let me know you can see it. And let's get this party started. Looks good. Yep, good. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it on and popping. Okay, all right, guys, this is trial run part two. How many of you guys would like to have more leads than you can handle? Um, where leads, uh, uh, so many leads coming in that you actually have to pace yourself. If that's you, put a one in the chat box. If you, if you want to get more leads than you can actually handle. And I mean, you're gonna have to actually give some off to your team because you got so many leads coming in. Uh, if, if, you, if, you would, if you would like to see that scenario, put a one 
in the chat box. All right, I see the ones coming through here. Okay, very good, very good. All right, great, because that's what we're going to do tonight. All right, we're gonna we're gonna um, te we're gonna teach you guys how to how to basically get more leads than than you could just literally literally handle. Okay, all right, guys. Um, how many of you guys have literally you've made the post? If you made a post from the uh, first trial run, put a TR for trial run, put a TR in the chat box if you have made posts since we did the last trial run in the last two weeks. If you made a trial run post, put a TR in the, um, in the chat box. All right, very good. All right, good, good, good. Okay, very good. All right, now if you've made the post, got people to respond info, and you got a bunch of infos back, and then you wonder what's next, put a TR2 in the chat box. All right, TR2. If you've wondered, what do I do next? Uh, the people, the, 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 the infos are coming, the people are responding. You know, uh, my, my, my folks are getting 50, 20, 30, 40, 50 uh, comments on their, on their page, but what do, what do I do next? Put a TR2 if, you, if you're wondering that. All right, well, you're in the right house tonight, all right, because we, uh, this evening, because we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna show you exactly what to do, okay? All right, so who wants to become a lead magnet, all right? Who wants to become a lead magnet? That should be everybody. I don't even need your responses, but you can say me. That's Yeah, I'll, I'll take those me's um, because uh, you want to become a lead magnet where literally you're a walking magnet attracting leads everywhere you go, okay? Everywhere you go in person and on social media, you can be a lead magnet, all right? Now, trial runs are the most effective way to never run out of leads. I've heard so many people say, well, you know, I've exhausted my warm market or, um, you know, um, I don't know that many people. Well, guess what? You don't have to. The way this system is set up, this business and the system is set up to never run out of leads. Y'all, there's more human beings than we, than, than we got credit out here. OK, we, we don't have enough credit repair for every human being on this planet. All right. You will never, ever, ever become saturated in any market and you'll never, ever, ever run out of leads. You know, I, when I first got in this business, I thought Atlanta was saturated, but I'm meeting people from Atlanta, never heard of our company. All right. So, you guys, it's not saturated. You can never saturate a major city anyway because of all the millions of people. It's just due to the six degrees of separation. You can't sat saturate you know, any kind of uh, major city. Also, when you're talking about people, your Facebook friends and stuff like that, it's all kind of degrees out there. So, guys, you can never saturate this. So, don't even be concerned about that. All right. So, what we're going to teach you how to do is gather all your agent potentials that have not gotten started yet due to money. How many of y'all have some uh, folks that uh, some Mr. Fridays after next, or, or actually, they re actually, let me change that question. How many of y'all have some that they're really serious, they really wanna get started, but they may not have the money to get going at this time, all right? Um, uh, how many, have have y'all had those? I've had those, okay? So um, we're gonna show you how to really work with those guys, okay? And really, you wanna treat your trial run agents as if they're already in the business. Okay, you want to um, you want you want to uh, include them on information. You want to treat them as if they're already in the business because we're going to really show you how to get them going and really build up momentum before they actually join the business. So when they actually enroll officially, they can have um, they can have some uh, success and some momentum going into it. All right. So um, now here's one option here: what you can do if you want to, you can create a private group. Now you don't have to do this, but uh, it, but it's very easy to do. So please don't be intimidated by all, by it at all. I actually did it last night to kind of give you a feel of it. Uh, I haven't put it to test yet, but I've actually did it last night. Matter of fact, what I may do is I may share that with you. Um, give me one second. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna show you uh, the group that I, uh, I'm gonna do a new share. Okay, yeah, if you can see my um, my uh, Facebook, this is just a group I created called the, the Work From Home Team. Um, and, uh, and I just created this uh, last night just to kind of give some clear instructions to people as they, uh, to my trial run agents. Now, you can't join my private group. You gotta create your own private group, okay? But just this is just a group to show, to give out some clear instructions. Like I say, hey, I'm gonna say, hey, group guys, let's generate some leads. Post this on your wall and tag 50 people, make it public too. And I'll put an actual picture in there, okay? Um, once someone comments info on their Facebook page, generate a three-way chat. And um, you don't have, I'm gonna go through this in length. So I'm just showing you guys right now. You don't have to take notes on this. I'm just showing you right now that I created a, um, a, a private Facebook group that'll tell my, that I can add my trial run agents to on Facebook and they can have clear instructions as far as what to do next. Now, once they join the business, they're going to, they're going to, I'm, I'm kicking out the group because they'll be, they'll be in, um, 
in, in the, in the uh, mainstream at that point. But these are just for trial run agents. So it, guys, it took me three minutes to create a private Facebook group. So you can do that. So that is one option. All right. So let me do it. Let me go back to my charts here. All right. Can y'all see my, uh, my, my PowerPoint? All right. Let's get uh -huh. rolling. Here. Okay. When someone comments info, what do you do next? All right, do you get nervous and just start shaking and, uh, and, and you know, oh my gosh, what, what should I do next? No, make them post, guys. And then I'm, I'm, we're really going to be telling you what to do next, okay? So uh, one thing you can do is optional. You can create a private Facebook group for your trial run prospects. And in the group, you want to give clear instructions. And remember, we're looking for people that are coachable. Okay, we're not looking for those duds. We're not looking for those people that give us a hard time. This is for people that are coachable. Okay, and you can create a private community. Basically, the purpose of this is to have a private community of trial run prospects so they don't get mixed up with so much. Because think about it as a new agent, think about it. They're not even in the business yet, and they're hearing all this stuff about trainings and regionals and, and online super Saturdays. And they're like, they're probably like, what, what, what world's going on? You don't want to expose that to them, to them yet because they have not paid their money. So just make a little quick. Uh, three minute private Facebook group and give them some clear instructions as far as ABC what to do in the um, in the uh, group and we'll, we'll, we'll show you how to do that. So you know here's one that says let's generate some leads post this on your wall and tag 50 people make it public and tag me too. All right. Now let me say this on the trial run as well. When people tag you. Okay, on the trial run post, make sure that you have your settings uh, set to where you have to approve everything that comes on your timeline. Okay, you want to, you, that's, uh, please be sure about it. You don't want any, just any and everything coming on your timeline. You want to be able to approve everything that comes on your timeline. And, um, and then you just, you don't have to approve it. You can just, you know, put hide or whatever so it doesn't show up on your page. But at least you start to, see, you will see all the activity that's going on. Okay, so you can create a private group. Um, in the group, you want to give clear instruction. Remember, we're looking for people who are coachable. We want to work with people that want to work. Okay, so look, look, check out these instructions. Once someone comments, and this is, this is what you're telling your trial run people. Once someone comments info on their page, give them directions to generate a three-way chat that a potential agent, with, a, with that potential agent and myself. Introduce me. Look at what you're doing here. You're teaching edification. Watch this. Hey, Jim, I saw your interest in credit rest, uh, in increasing your credit score. I brought my regional sales director, Ivan Brown, in on the chat. He's really chill, and he brings in over 25K a month in sales to our company. You can say whatever you want to say there. He's helped hundreds of people restore their credit. What's affecting your score? And see, now that three-way chat, that three-way messenger chat puts me into the conversation now, okay? So they can simply respond to these people once they, um, once they uh, have commented info, they can send this into their inbox, okay? All right? If they're really serious, and again, but mon money is the only issue, you can, um, you, can, uh, you, can, you can have them run posts on their page. And now, listen up here, guys. Listen up to this, because I'm going to put you guys up on some game right here, okay? You can have them run posts on their page. Now, these are, these, are, these are prospects who are not in the business, okay? But they want to get in. They don't have the money. Have them run the post and get three customers. Now, from the post that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how much traffic it generates. So they should be able to get three customers. Three customers, that's $300, Okay. And at the point where they've gotten $300, don't do it before then, but at the point, and see, don't be loaning folks the money like that no more. Make them work for it, all right? Let them have some skin in the game. Don't be giving the stuff away free no more. Don't be, um, don't be paying folks way no more. I ain't paying nobody else's way, all right? Because, you know, those, those, rarely are those folks that put in any work when you pay, pay the way. You need them to have skin in the game because they need to see the value. Because, guys, we're only talking 288. Okay. Now, guess what? When I started, I didn't really have the 288 to lose like that. I didn't have 288 just floating around like that because my money was allocated all over the place. But guess what? I found a way to do it. Uh, Y'all know my story. I got my mama's uh, authorized user Wells Fargo's credit card and I, and I swiped that 288 and I got to work. Okay. So you want somebody who, like me or like many of you guys who are out there who see the value in it. Okay. So three customers, $300 at the point where you, or you, you personally enrolled to three customers, you're enrolling their three customers that they get. Then you can cash app them or send them $300, you know, or, or, or however way you want to PayPal it to them, Venmo, however, so that they can get into the business. You pay for the, they're, because really you're using the $300 to pay for the way in. And then guess what? Guess what you do? You place them three con customers under them in the system. And guess what you done did? You done popped a cab. Okay. You've popped the cab. That's gang. Boom. That's gangster right there. That is gangsterific right there. You literally get get they they're they're getting the they're generating the money to get them into the business. 
you then send them that three hundred dollars, and then turn around, place those three hundred them, and pop that cab. And guess what, you guys? You have officially, uh, you know, pulled off a gangster move, and you basically had that agent prepay their 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 way in. All right. Okay. So uh, does that make sense? Uh, well, if if I need to go over again, I will. All right. Look at look guys. Look at some. Look at these results here. These are real. These are real life results here. And I used uh, sales director Brad Houston because he's on. He's on. Him and his team. They're on fire. So look at some of these comments here. And these and and and, and we've we've gotten even more than this. But this. But I just put these up here uh, in the sake of time. Look. Uh, somebody named Sean Beard, who uh, I don't think is in the business yet. Uh, who needs their credit score raised in 2020? They made that post for Brad. Look at it. it got 15 comments. Curtis Knighton. Who needs their credit score raised in 2020? Who needs info? Uh, and look, got fit, got 15 plus comments. Uh, uh, Michael McDowell uh, got, 11, got 11 comments. Ran the, they ran the same thing. So look, if you look at that, these, these are recent too. May 11th, May 11th, just this past Thursday. So look at, look at you're talking about 15, 30. You're talking about uh, uh, 41 leads right there just from running a compliant post that somebody, that, that one of his people ran. Or one of his friends ran his warm market, all right. And I'll I'll congrat I'll even go as far as to congratulate the agent prospects. Man, you got to give him encouragement. Man, you um you you got fifteen you got fifteen comment fifteen people posted uh posted uh info. Man, you're a strong candidate to, to become an agent. Let me get you on a webinar so that you can see all the ways we get paid. Man, I'm telling you this this thing this thing is hot, all right. So this this is just leads this week, y'all. We just we just did this, all right. We're, we're still trial run rookies, all right. And we did this, all right. But check this out, all right? My man Kelvin here be ended up becoming an agent because of the post that he ran. Now, of course, this was, listen guys, listen to me very very good here. This post right here that's, that you're seeing on the screen is not compliant. Do not run this post as an agent. You are not compliant, okay? You will get your site shut down if you run this post as an agent. But let me ask you a question. question. If a person is not an agent, are they an agent? No. All right. So whatever, you know, if, if they if they decide to run this post, they don't have a site yet to get shut down or anything. So if they run this post, they're just doing it as a friend. All right. I can't help what non-agents do. Okay. So if non-agents run this non-compliant post, that's on the non-agent. You understand know what I'm saying? However, I want to be clear. If you are an agent, this is not compliant with headquarters and you do not run this post. You are not authorized to do it. But your friends, I mean, you know, it is what it is. All right. So if they, but this, this post right here is fire for a non-agent to run. It is fire. Okay. And I like how they even took out the, uh, the um, name of the bureaus, but you know, if, if it's, if it's, if it's a non-agent running it, I mean, it is what it is, but this is, this, this, to, this post right here is fire. So it got 16 comments, one share. And guess what? Uh, Brad was able to get an agent out of that. Okay, so that's 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 dope. All right, so have and have them repost it multiple times. Also, let them know that they are not. Um, they they may have to run more than one post because all kind of reaction times and Facebook algorithms are different. So you might run this post one day and get crickets. Turn around, run it three days later and get a hundred comments. Okay, so it's just you got to work through the Facebook algorithms, the timing and that type of thing. So um, so make sure they're prepared to run multiple posts. Also, too, if they run a post and they get any negative comments, please instruct them to delete all negative comments. If somebody comment, uh, a comments negative on a, on a trial run post, boop, just, just delete that right on off. Get them out, out of there, okay? Also, too, when your prospects run uh, this trial run post, you be the first to go on there to comment me, info, whatever the instructions tell you to comment, all right? So you make sure you're the biggest cheerleader, okay? All right, let's keep it moving. All right, look at this right here. Now, woo -wee. now we're getting into some results here. My man DeAndre Thomas ran this for sales director Sonia Sims just uh, last week on May 8th. Look at them comments right there, 72. Look at that, attention. If you have a 400 to 675 credit score, uh oh, that's not compliant. You can't use numbers, right? Oh, I forgot, he's not in the business. Oops. So um, you, you can, he ran, he ran this post right here. Attention, if you have 400 uh, to 675 credit score and want a 700 to 800 credit score, I have a connection that legally erases or deletes negative items, repost, foreclosure, late payments, medical bills, student loans, evictions, more, for real, for real, comment below. And look at that number right there, 72, all right, 72, okay? Uh, I don't even know this person, Unique Christian or whatever. She ran, you can also, don't forget to run the, um, the agents, uh, the one for agents too as well. Um, look, at, look at them comments right there, 108. 
Brooke Smith. Your trainer, Brooke Smith, had uh, had somebody run that. Look at that, just yesterday. Just yesterday. And got 108 comments. All right? Let's say even if Brooke responded back to everybody, that's at least 54 comments. That's lead, y'all. That's big time. Okay? Um, 54 leads, that, 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 that'll take you some time to go through. So you see where you where now we're becoming lead magnets for running the trial run? Now watch this. Here, here's some more game. If you got lazy agents who ain't busted a grape yet so far, who ain't did nothing, get them agents to run the um, trial run. Okay, y'all not going to do no prospecting work. Y'all not going to run through your Walmart. It's cool. At least can y'all make, make some posts? Can y'all do that? If, they, if, if the agents ain't prospecting nobody, they don't want to do no three calls yet, they don't want to do, you know, whatever, can y'all at least run some posts? So, so get, this is good for agent prospects. This is good for new agents. And it's good for uh, reactivating or re... I'm not going to call them lazy, lazy agents. I apologize. I shouldn't have said lazy. If you have some slow starting agents, then maybe uh, this will get them going again, okay? All right. So, yeah, so uh, Brooke is on fire. Sonya on fire with these leads, okay? <laughs> Lance said, cook, clean, do something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ask for support. You have not because you ask not, okay? Ask for support um, from your friends and family, especially the ones that they don't want to get into business. They don't want to, they don't, you know, they, they're, they're allergic to uh, network marketing and making money and uh, they're allergic to anything other than a W-2. So let them let them support you, okay? Just simply ask Facebook friends for support via Messenger, okay? And, um, Ivan? And, yes, go ahead. Hi, I'm sorry, quick question. Was that Gina? If you're there, I, uh, you must have tapped out. I can't hear you anymore. Oh, okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Can you hear me now? Uh -huh. Yeah, so just a minute ago, you made a great point about um, agents who, you know, are on the sideline right now uh -huh. and, um, and leveraging them to get back in the game. Yeah. Can you go back to some of the samples? You mentioned two that were not good to use for agents. Okay. Well, um, how do we differentiate between what we can send them to post and what we can't? Very good question. That's a great question. We have um, in our back office and um, the corporation has something called compliance. And um, due to, um, you know, we are a network, for one, we're a network marketing company. Um, and two, we're a credit restoration. Uh, you know, we do, uh, our UCES division does credit restoration. So we're under uh, very strict guidelines from state attorney generals, okay? We have to make sure that we're compliant in every way, shape, or form with uh, credit restoration laws and um, um, uh, network marketing regulations, okay? So with, uh, with this, this is, this is an example of a non-compliant post. A, a non-agent can run this post, but an agent cannot run this post because of, Things. Actually, this post was been modified, but it used to say Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, and that is against compliance rules to uh, to, to to say that. Okay. Right. So, so um, now, so, because it doesn't have those three names, it it can be run. Is that? A, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna let uh, Lance Petway. If you want, man, jump in, um, Lance. Uh, how does how does this run? If you've taken the names of the uh, bureaus out, if you're there, Lance. You, nope. Even. Can you hear me, Ivan? Uh huh. Yeah, we don't want to be posting this as agents at all, period. Uh, this whole post, so taking it out, changing names, misspelling it. <laughs> we don't want to touch it at all because what we got is way too valuable to take a chance on it. We've got, as Ivan said, we've got some great posts that are already compliant in our business office for FES and UCES. And I'll be honest with you, it's not, there's no magical posts. It's about the consistency of the posts. Okay. However, this post here, I, all day long, your friends, your family members, people that you don't know, have them post this for you. Don't have them tag you on the post, but have them post this for you because, again, as Ivan said, they're not agents, so they can do whatever they want. And then you can get, get business this way. This is a hot lead, I mean, a, a hot post. Um, it's been very successful, but it is non-compliant for us as agents. Hope that helps. Right. Thank you. And then um, let, me, let me give you a little more clarity on that. Okay, the reason why this post here, if you can see it, Gina, um, to the left here, um, it, why this one is non-compliant because it, it mentions credit scores. 
And as compliance, we're not allowed to mention scores. If you, uh, you don't want to post anything with actual numbers and it's saying, you don't want to post anything about actual uh, money numbers like, oh, you know, hey, you, you can make this amount of much as, a, as an FES agent or a sales director. You can make $10,000, this, that. You don't want to post any of that stuff on social media. You want to stay away from numbers and number promises. Um, so you say, look, if you have a seven, 400, seven, six, 675 and you want a 700, 800, that alone makes this post non-compliant. Um, due to the, the number, so uh, you can your 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 friends and family and non-agents can post non-compliant posts, but as an agent, you cannot under any circumstance post non-compliant posts. Matter of fact, as an agent, you really pretty much need to stick to the posts that are in the um, the back office in the FES, uh, my FES back office in the UCES uh, marketing uh, portal. All right, does that make sense? Yep, thank you. Very good, very good. Okay, guys, ask again your, your friends and family for support. Uh, mo in most cases, not in all cases, but in most cases, uh, or in a lot of cases, your friends and family are, aren't going to be the ones that make you rich anyway. They're not going to come on until later on anyway. Um, so um, just have them right now. Just have them post for you. Uh, they want to support your business. Um, have, have them post for you because if they're going to ask you for money later on, you know, and they didn't want to get in the game, then uh, they want to... Um, uh, they better, they better make, they made a rake some posts for you. All right. And I'm going to show you guys how to bargain or leverage. Okay. Cause don't just let anybody, um, I'll, I'll talk about it in a minute. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but don't be cutting discounts for people if they're not making posts for you and all that type of stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll go through that in a minute. Okay. But yet also here's a good idea too, as well. If you have strong business owners who are already doing other businesses, um, you know, uh, have them post for you too, as well. All right. Um, because you can, you can get some good customers out of that. If you know somebody that's in Mary Kay and, or prepaid legal and they're doing well, hey, say, hey, you know, um, uh, or, or, or actually that's not a good example. If you got somebody who's a hairdresser, okay, or maybe they, um, they're a barber or um, uh, and they, they have another business and, um, and you, you know, hey, uh, like I have a good friend that's a DJ. I may say, hey, you know, uh, go to my friend who's a DJ uh, for his DJ services and then turn around and have him maybe post, Hey, can you post something for me? And then let him throw a post out for me, you know, stuff like that. If you have a, a girlfriend that's, uh, um, you know, I know, I know somebody that's, that's, that owns a uh, edible arrangements. Hey, I may give them a, a, a shout out post and then they turn around and give me a shout out post, basically a reverse shout out. It's a win, win you scratch my back. I'll scratch yours. So that's for your strong business owners who have business level headed people in their, in their, um, in their group. All right. Uh, um, you know, in their Facebook uh, contacts and everything like that. So, you know, that's kind of a um, you can get business owners to do that, too. So friends and family and business owners, get them to support you. And you support other people, too, as well, who are, you know, who are in non, um, you know, multi uh, network marketing companies. OK. All right. Uh, post for me and I'll post for you. All right. Here's a script you can use. Um, hope, uh, you know, when, when you want to get a friend or family to post, friends and family to post. Hope everything's going well with you. I recently had a, gr a grand reopening of my credit restoration business. And of course, if you're new, you just say grand opening. But if, you're, if you've been in there for a while, you say, hey, I re had a recent grand reopening of my credit restoration business. Now I'm in all 50 states and I like your help. With your permission, I like, to, I like to make a post for you to post on your Facebook wall to reach people who might need assistance. Currently, there are 70 million Americans with less than perfect credit. This will help me reach my goal to help families nationwide. I know that you may not be interested and that's okay, but your friends might be. Are you willing to assist me with this post? Please let me know. Now look at look at look at the verbiage in this. Now, you're covering people who may want to help people. People people may not be motiv money motivated, but they may be motivated by helping people. So guess what? You're hitting them up in, in this in this too as well. And you're 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 pulling out. You're scratching that itch there. So they may they like to help people. So boom. Okay, um, maybe Ivan is not so bad. He's not just money hungry. He likes to help people too. So let me help him reach his goal of helping and assisting families nationwide. All right. So look at look at the verbiage there. Okay. Uh, well, if you're willing to assist me, please let me know. Um, and this, this one's optional, guys. You don't have to do this one. It, it says, I'm willing to give you $15 per person who needs it and get started. Now, if they're really your friend, they shouldn't be like, hey, you owe me $15, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, some people are money motivated and they, that, that, you know, your little cousin who's in college, right now, right, a starving uh, artist or a starving college student right now, um, they may, they, you know, you, you may want to give you offer them $15 to go out and hustle for you. All right. And uh, maybe they can go hustle, get some college kids and that type of thing. All right. So, so, you know, but you, but that's optional. You can even leave, you can take that out. Or you can leave that in. Okay. But use this for your friends who are influencers in any way, shape or form. They could be younger. They could, like I said, they may be a popular person at their college campus. They may be in a sorority. They may be, um, uh, you know, have some affiliations to where they have a little bit of influence. Let them post on their page too. And you can always say, Hey, you know, um, uh, 
you may not be interested in the business. I know you may not be interested and that's okay. But guess what? When they see them 108 comments, when they see them 72 comments, they, 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 it, it's like fishing. They might, they might, they might become interested all of a sudden. All right. You know, they mess around, put a post on there. We've had it happen. Mess around, put a post on there and they get, they get 55 comments. They can be like, Oh, what's that you got here? You know, I'm like, Oh, I'm just those 55 people. I'm just gonna make a hundred dollars off each of them. Um, don't you worry about it. Uh, Trust me, guess what? They're going to they're gonna be like, no, 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 what you got going on here? Well, then, hey, I'll tell you what then, let me get you on a webinar so you can see all the ways we get paid. Boom, all right? So, uh, you know, you got to just, you got to be a business person, guys. Think, put your business cap on, okay? All right, we're almost done here. Don't forget to run the trial runs for agents too as well. This one was kind of more of a customer uh, heavy uh, trial run training. The other one was a agent heavy trial run training, but just don't forget to post that work from home as a referral agent weekly pay no experience needed, or you, the ones in the back office are really good. Okay. Agent needed. You can put, you can post those two as well. So switch it up every, you know, every week or every couple of days, switch it up. All right. The law of duplication guys, I can do it. I have time to do it and I don't mind sharing it with my new network. Okay. You want to, you, these core laws of duplication, you want to just keep doing stuff over and over and over again, because can you do this? Yes. Can you make a Facebook post? Can you ask a simple question? We're giving you, y'all, this, this stuff ain't hard. This ain't, this ain't rocket science. I told y'all, I, I told y'all, I used to manage a team of rocket scientists. This here ain't rocket science, okay? I can do this. I have time to do it. I don't mind sharing. Just keep doing it, okay? All right, look, guys, can you follow these four steps? And you can screenshot this, or we could, we'll put this training up on the page anyway. You guys, come on, y'all. Y'all got, got to get this, okay? The number one thing you want to do is you want to ask a question. This is the process of exposing your services and products by peaking interest with a script. You're just asking a simple question. Not will you join my team? Not will you buy my product? Not will you get down on, on with, with, my, with my thing? No, just ask them a question. Hey, uh, hey, Thedra, if you had an opportunity to increase your credit score at no potential cost and can make some additional in income, would you be open to taking a look at some quick information? Come on, man. If somebody came to me and said that, if somebody says no, they have a low business acumen and a low business IQ, and I've talked about that. And so um, you, you, know, if, you want to just keep it moving if they won't take a look at some information. Because who doesn't need their credit boosted? Who doesn't want to make some extra money? Come on, man. If so if, if, if they don't, somebody, something's wrong with them. They, don't have, they have a very low business IQ. And, and if they won't take four minutes to take a look at some information, then no, nah, keep it moving. Okay, that's not that's not your boy. That's not your girl. Okay, then send the links, guys. Send a link for the credit customer. Send a link for the business opportunity. These are four to five minute videos. I just say four minutes because I mean, if, it, if it's six minutes, they'll still they'll still hang in there and watch it. All right. So just you know, hey, take a quick this little quick four minute uh, video, and I'll get right back with you. Send your links, guys. Let the links do the heavy lifting. You stop your talking, especially if you're new. If you ain't a sales director, stop talking. Send links. Okay. All right, invite, uh, number three, invite to a webinar. You are a strong, man, when they get all those, uh, when they get the 15, forget 15, if they get three, if they get three infos on their page, three, just three, guess what I'm gonna say? Whoa, oh my God, you got three uh, people responding. Man, look at all them, look at all them leads, man. Man, you're a strong candidate to become an agent. Let me get you on a webinar so you can see how you get paid. Man, if they get three, if they get two, I'm doing that. All right. You're a strong candidate for agent. Let me get you on a webinar so you can see all the ways we get paid. You can take them to the Tony Camel webinar. You can send them that YouTube link or this right here is literally about to change your life. I'm great. Type it in the, um, I'm great. Type it in the, uh, the chat section. Now, www.agency. This is hot off the press agency info dot info. Boom. Send the chat. This is a, just came out. This is a 18 minute flat. I think they did it in 19 minutes flat, 18 minutes and 46 seconds. This is a 19 minute flat UCES and FES uh, business opportunity and overview presentation. Uh, the, F, the, the UCES was done by Alicia Gaines and it's very good and very professional. And then the, uh, the, the, uh, the, um, FES was done by Mr. Ash and Henry. You can say, hey, man, let me get you on a webinar. Remember that guy that was on the Steve Harvey show? Let me get you on a webinar uh, with him. He's going to, he, uh, he and one of his business partners, they're going to be talking about the opportunity real quick. So we're going to take about less than 20 minutes. Man, that's gangster right there. See, I'll need to put some fire emojis in the chat uh, if you got them. Uh, 
up there on your keyboard because uh, that right there is going to flat out change your life. That's 19 minutes of fire right there. Okay, and also too, you want you know, also depending on the flavor, because guys, when you go to Baskin Robbins, there's 31 flavors. People who like Snickers may not like peanut, may not like Oreo, or people who like Oreo may not like the sherbet. They got 31 flavors at Baskin Robbins. Okay, so you gonna have 31 or more flavors in your prospects. Okay, so some might like um, those who want to uh, who are very business and more corporate. Um, I might send them to Mr. Tony Camilleri's. All right, if uh, if you know if. if uh, they're a little more um, uh, urban. I might send them to. Uh, I might send them to the Alicia Gaines and the. Uh, um, you know, but 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 you know, but uh, it doesn't matter either way. Here's what I love about it: the one that uh, Alicia and Ashton did. It'll fit any demographic. It'll fit your professional demographic, all right, and it'll also fit your uh, your your more urban demographic too as well, all right. So really, what I love it. It was really right in the middle. It was very universal and it was very professionally done. And guys, 19 minutes flat, boom. That's going to change your business right there. Okay. So invite them on the webinar. And the fourth thing to do, follow up guys. After the webinar, ask two questions. What did you like best? Would you like to get started as an agent or a client? Can y'all follow these four steps, guys? Just these four steps. Can y'all follow them? Ask a question, send the links, invite to a webinar, and then follow up with the questions. Guys, if you would just do these simple steps, we see a lot more success in our business. Okay. All right. I told y'all I was wrapping up. That's closing number two. All right. Make sure you have a master list. Make sure you're tracking all your leads. Make sure you have a list of all the people that you uh, put on the trial run. And then all the people that put that comment info, make sure that you take a, you, you, you put those on a master list. And some of the people that comment info and say, hey, this is great stuff, have them make a post too. Okay. You can do that too as well. All right. So you can go, you can, you can tap root more than one layer. The key is to tap root as many layers as you can do. All right. Tap Rooney really means get to your friends, friends. Don't go to your friends, go through your friends. All right. So keep a master list of that. Okay. All right. Um, what do you do next when they, um, when they comment info, you can, you can gather, make sure you wait for them to respond, get the info guys, get the person's information. All right. Always track your leads. Uh, initial contact. Boom. Thank you for acquiring about credit repair. Uh, and these are just multiple options. I would love to connect you with, I'm going to move my window here. I'd love to connect you with and give you some more information. Please provide your name, email, phone number, city and state. You're not asking for the social, so they should, they should be able to give it to you. And, and, and then boom, what is affecting your credit score, all right? Because you want to find out what's affecting their credit score, because this is what you're going to do. You can go to Credit Karma. Once they were, no matter what they were sparring with, they may say, hey, I don't know what's going on with my credit score. I don't know. Some may say, hey, I got a bankruptcy. I got 10 derogatory items. Some may say, I don't know. Regardless of whatever they respond back to, you hit them back with, okay, I can help. Do you have credit karma? 99% of your agent prospects and customer prospects are going to have credit karma. Okay, I can help. Do you have credit karma? Use credit karma to qualify your leads. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. All right. Because also, too, you don't want to sign someone up that may not need the protection plan. All right. I know you want the hundred dollars, but if it, it, you'll 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 be better off in the long run if you if you know don't sign them up with a protection plan if they don't need it, okay? Um, but you know, or or at least explain to them that we have eleven other services and they, and let them let, let them choose that way um, to to take advantage of the other services if they don't need credit restoration, okay? Also, I have been to, a question. Hey Gina, can you hold one second for me? Yeah. And let me get I it will. all out and then and keep your question on deck. All right. Um, but if you have credit karma, use credit karma to qualify your leads. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. You don't want to sign someone up that doesn't need the protection plan or if they want to, or if you want to sign them up on the other services. Plus, this allows me to market the secure credit card and credit my rent more. Okay. Like I'll give you an example. I had a client who didn't have bad credit. They didn't have any derogatory items. They just didn't have any credit. I put them on a secure credit card, put them on credit my rent, and boom, they, they were back up to like a 790 days. Okay, so guys, uh, this works. So let me show you how to flip Credit Karma real quick. You can do a free analysis on their credit, all right? You can say, hey, do me a favor, log into Credit Karma, go to the My Overview and click on Score Details, scroll downward toward the middle of your page to those six factors, and I need you to send me a screenshot of the TransUnion and Equifax of, this, of those six factors to see if you qualify for our program, okay? Y'all, this is real simple. I, first time I heard it, I was a little intimidated by it, but actually I, went, I just went, today I went and opened up Credit Karma, and my God, it was very simple to do. This is mine right here. Literally, I went and it's right there in the middle of the page. Guys, go to my overview, click on you know, uh, the credit factors, and boom, it's right there, okay? Pay, these, are, these are the things that make up your credit score, payment history, credit card usage, derogatory marks, credit age, total accounts, 
hard inquiries. These are the things that make up a credit score. Okay, so um, so guys, um, you know, uh, you can you can actually uh, have them go in and, and, and you can you know now we understand that credit karma gives vantage to. 2.0 scores. They are not FICO scores. Okay. However, um, they will tell you um, pretty, pretty. You can kind of see what's going on. And oh my God, I thank God. I got I got five green checks, boy. Um, green boxes, boy. I tell you, when I first started, it wasn't that way. Okay. So um, so I, um, you know, they can go. You can go in there and diagnose what's going on with their credit, and they'll tell you. All right. But anyway, they're always a good candidate. Okay. Boom. You do that. Boom. Now you definitely qualify. Please watch this five minute video on our services. Text me when you're done. Send them the UCES right there. It's four minutes, guys, and tell them to text. If they got time right now, text, text me when I'm done. Um, you can always ask, when can you watch a five-minute video? When can you watch a four-minute video? If they say now, send them the video and follow up with them in five to ten minutes, okay? Depending on the time they state, um, follow-up is the key. If they say, uh, hey, you know what? I, can watch, I can't watch it right now, man. It's uh, 6.45 right now. I can't watch it right now, but I can watch it at 8 o'clock. Boom, follow up with them at 8.10. Okay, send them a text at eight o'clock. Hey, watch that video real quick. And boom, at 8, 10, follow up with them, all right? Follow up is the key. And then guys, close the deal. Listen guys, in life, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. Let me say that again. You don't get what you deserve in life, you get what you negotiate. Close the deal, ask for the sale. That's the one thing that I used to be very nervous about because I didn't want to ask nobody for money. I used to feel some type of way about asking for some money. You know, uh, I, was, I was a little intimidated by it. No, not no more. Uh-uh. Hey, what credit card are you going to put this on, player? You're going to put this on your Visa, your MasterCard, or your American Express, your Diners Club, whatever, even though we don't take Diners Club. Discover whatever it is. Which, which card are you putting this on? Let's, let's go ahead and get you started. Let's get you enrolled. Ask for the sale, okay? Wait for the response, all right? And then, hey, you got any questions? Boom. Would you like to get started? Ask for the sale. Y'all, in life, you've got to boss up, all right? You know, you, you got you to ask for the sale, okay? Go ahead and close the deal, guys. Do not be afraid to ask for that sale. Close the deal, okay? Ask for the sale. That's, what you're, you, that's the only way you can help them. If you don't close the sale, you can't help them with their credit. And then so all those who rain about money, but you just like to help people, you can't help nobody if you don't get the sale. Okay, so get them enrolled in the services. Ask for the sale, make the close. Close out the deal, don't play around with that. Go get it, all right? Okay, um, unitedcredit.org has uh, some real good questions. I wouldn't even be ask, ask, answering all these questions, at least not trying to make it up out of my head. You know, the biggest question you're gonna get is, how long does it take? How long do I have to pay the $89? Look at uh, unitedcredit.org. They give a very professional answer there. Everyone's credit situation is completely different. So how long it takes for you to achieve your expected results depends on the number of directors. It's a very professional answer. Use unitedcredit.org, okay? I just, I just literally copy and paste these. How long will it take for the credit agencies to respond after I send in my dispute letters? You, they have the professional answers. Use united-credit.org, okay? And here's some final ninja tips and I'm gonna open up for questions, okay? Look guys, screenshot this, but the, 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 this will be also available on Superstars. Here's some ninja tips. Have all your, all your friends and family support you by making a post. It's free. They ain't got to pay no money. And someone might be relieved. They're not going to recruit me for this MLM, so I guess I'll go ahead and make a post. All right? So have them make a post. It's free. Okay? Respond back to info with copy and paste scripts. When, people are, when, you, hit, when you get all the info comments on the different uh, posts, respond back with copy and paste scripts. Okay? Always get their information. Use a notebook or a lead management system, which I'm gonna have Theatre speak on for a couple of seconds about uh, different uh, scheduling or lead management systems. But always use them, have them schedule an appointment, um, you know, a 15 minute a free credit consultation, have them schedule with you, all right? Listen guys, never, ever, ever, ever give a discount without them making a post for you. If you're gonna cut that, uh, that, that, uh, that fee, that activation fee to, to uh, 50%, uh, to $49 or to, to zero, for the, they better make a post. You're exchanging that discount for a post. If I'm gonna give you, if I'm giving you this, this discount, you're gonna make a post for me. You better believe that, all right? So never, ever, ever just give out the discount again and let them walk away. No, that you better make a post. Uh, hey, for, for, uh, we got a special going on. Um, I can waive the activation fee for those who, who make a support post for me, all right? So that that be your special, okay? Remember, guys, three customers equals $300. So now you can get them started. You enroll those customers, send them that money, get them started, and um, 
and uh, you can uh, use those three customers to pop that cam and boom. Especially if you're like, if you're a sales director, regional sales director, executive sales director, whatever, man, you can, uh, you, you, you get them to send that $300 and boom, look at us, look at a sales director, $300. You send that, you get the three customers, send $300 to them. You mess around, pop that cam. That's $380 right there. All right. So that's gangster. Okay. And guys, never be afraid to close the deal. Okay. Guys, please close the deal. All right. So, um, so that's all I think I have. Uh, Gina, I, 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 heard, I know you had a question. Go ahead, go ahead and ask that question for me, and I'll keep my slides up. Um, no, uh, I think it was Michael who uh, took me up on the comment line, so I'm good there. You're good? Um, okay. If no one else has a question, though, I might have one more. <laughs> Come on. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, um, really great info, Ivan. Thank you for taking the time to, to share with us these strategies. Um, so if folks are posting this on my behalf and I and they, they tag me to it um, or I comment so I see the, the activity happening, um, what is a preferred method to actually be able to link up with their, my friend's friends? Does that make sense? Okay, let me show you. So if I message them and they, I don't know them personally, then I run the, the risk of them not accepting my messenger friend request. Okay. And then I lose that lead. Okay, very good. Have your friend make an introduction. Um, okay. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I have, I know I think I had a uh, post on that, um, a, a slide on it. Was it the name and address one? They can generate a three way chat. Okay. Um, have a messenger. In Messenger, have them generate a three-way a three-way chat. Meaning, um, like I just had somebody today make a, a three-way introduction for me on text message uh, with 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 somebody. Uh, you can make you can have them make an introduction. Um, you see that script there? It says hi. I saw your interest in increasing your credit score. I brought my regional sales director. Or I, I say I brought my senior field trainer Gina Diggs in in on the chat. She's okay. she's, she's a really good person. She, she's very professional and. Uh, she brings in over uh, five thousand dollars a month in sales to our company. She's helping hundreds of people restore their credit. What's affecting your score? Have have them generate a three way chat, and they they where they put you, the prospect, and themselves on that chat that chat thread. Good. All right, thank you. Make sense? It does. Thank. Great question. Great question. All right, anybody else? Hey, hey Ivan, what's up? We got, a, we got about yeah. five, four or five minutes for Q and A. Anybody else? Yeah, I got one. What's up, Ivan? How you doing? What's up, Ken? Hey, great information, man. Do you know? The um, the demo website and the password and username, so you can do the demo with somebody. I have it in my phone. I think. Uh, you know which one I'm talking I know, about. Uh, VP Kendra Pack has it too as well. If she's on the line, uh, let's see here. Demo. Uh, let's see. I'll post it. I'm looking for it now. Okay, yeah, I had it. I had it somewhere saved somewhere. Um, it, Kendra's gonna go ahead and post that. Yeah. You're talking okay, about the demo you. for the uh, FES and the UCES, correct? Correct. Yes, sir. Okay, Kendra's gonna uh, get that and post it and post it for us. VP's gonna post that for us. But uh, yeah, so um, um, that's yeah, that's a good way to go practice on things too, and you know, kind of look through and see how things uh, work and move. So that's that's a good uh, good point there. Any other questions, Ken? No, that's it. Thank you. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Anybody else? Real quick. The only dumb question is the one not asked. Okay. So does anybody have any questions about anything? Uh, I have a question. All right. Hi, Evan. My name is Ken. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, I can hear you just fine. Okay. Um, you mentioned um, Facebook, but what about leads on Instagram? How would we be able to do like a three-way chat for our leads on Instagram? Um, um, I'm not the biggest Instagram expert, but um, on Instagram, can you um, can three people chat in a thread, or just or just is is or the inbox and messages just direct? It looks like it's just direct, but I'm not I'm not Instagram. Savvy. You can do multiple on Instagram as well. Yeah, you can. Yeah, three people definitely can chat on Instagram. 
Okay. All right. All right. Thank thank you guys for chiming in because I'm not an Instagram the expert. I'm becoming one. The difference between Facebook and Instagram is is that on Instagram you actually get a notification that you have a message request. On Facebook, you don't get that. So even if you do DM somebody who you're not friends with they will still get a notification that somebody sent them a message. So they will actually see it. Okay. So that's better than Facebook, isn't it? Right. <laughs> wow. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Does that answer your question? Very good. Okay. Anybody else got, got any questions? Yeah. Just one last request. Hey, how you doing? Ivan? This is What's up, Dion? Thank, thanks for the training. Um, is there any way you could go back to the slide where it was like, Hey, uh, just requesting information of the prospect. It was like name, address, maybe school, city and state. I didn't get yeah. the screenshot. I'm, yeah, I was dry. We're gonna put. We're gonna post this up too. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. I appreciate it then. Thank no, I'm, but I'm, I'm. I got you. I got you, Dion. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, if you guys can see my screen, there that it should be up right there. Um, yep. I appreciate that. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, thank you for inquiring about credit repair. repair. Um, I would like to connect you, connect with you, and, and, and get and give you. Hold on, what does it say? Hold on, I forgot. Where's my? And give you more information. Please provide your name, email, phone number, city and state, and uh, what's effect, and then ask them what's affecting your score because that's what's going to lead to the credit karma. Um, yeah, perfect. Thank you. Right okay. All right. And remember, even no matter what they say, if they say no matter what they say, even if they say I don't know you're still going to say, okay, I can help. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Very good question. Anyone else? Any questions? They posted the, uh, the, the uh, myfes.net and the ucespp.net demo information on the, uh, on the chat box. All right. Where will this presentation be posted? It's going to be posted in the Superstars page, probably under files. Um, under files, you, that's where you can get the PowerPoint. So we're going to post it on the this, this training, the PowerPoint slides will be posted in the Superstars Agents Facebook page, the private Facebook group. It'll be posted under files. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll get it up as soon as uh, we, uh, we get off the, uh, the line here and it'll be posted under files. All right. We got three minutes until uh, we complete this hour. Are there any other questions about anything before we uh all right if not i want to, at this point um i always want to open it up uh for uh uh, uh vp if we, uh, we do have some VP oh, representation miss kendra pack is there anything that you want to say closing us out i just want to say that well i just want to say the training was amazing um After this time, Kendra, I can barely hear you. You're, kind of, you're going in and out. I can't hear you. Yeah, can you, I'm can trying. You start over? Don't worry about it. I think. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Don't yeah. worry about it. You sure? Okay. All right. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, got some great stuff. I'll, I'll the slide. Excellent information. I just want you to. I can't hear you, Kendra. It might, it might be. It could be my internet. Um, no, we can't. We can't hear her either. Okay. All right. Well, uh, uh, if if you have anything to say, Kendra, let me know, and we'll post it on the page there and that type of thing. All right. Um, all hearts and minds clear. You know, we look, look, I'm, I'm great. Give a, a benediction. Uh, uh, all hearts and minds clear. Uh, we're out of here. All right. So, guys, uh, check the superstars uh, files. Oh, oh, oh! Real quick. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Um, Deidre Dillard, do you want to mention Schedule 1? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> go check it out. That's <laughs> um, <laughs> um, But no, for real, go check out Schedule Once. Uh, schedule it, Once, okay. Yeah, Schedule Once. It is a, a gen, uh, uh, app and a basically a lead and follow-up system to help you keep track. Um, ESD Aisha Bentoncourt mentioned it. Ivan is on this slide right now. When someone is in your inbox or commenting info for initial contact, even if they're agent or customer, 
and we go through the thank you for inquiring about credit repair or the business and we get their name, email, phone number, city. The next thing we want to do is just send them that link to schedule like a free credit one, a free one on one credit because it'll help you uh, basically, uh, I'm going to say Phil Trainer Brooke has 82 comments. If she sends out her schedule one, A, it's going to uh, separate those who are serious from those who are not serious because if they can't take uh, time to go to schedule uh, to your site and schedule a credit consultation, they're probably not going to do everything they need to do to get their credit fixed. And ESD Aisha Bencourt said it best we are moving, we are, our team is on fire and promotions are happening. And so a lot more is, uh, customers are going to be coming in. A lot more agents are going to be coming in. So you really want to streamline this because this truly is a business. So if they can't take the time to schedule uh, a consultation, they might not be, uh, do everything they need. And I, Aisha said, if they can't even schedule the time, I got to move on to the next person who is willing to schedule a 15 minute consultation, but schedule once will send you a reminder. You can also link your zoom account. If you want to do like a quick zoom or you can leave link your phone number. If you want to do a three way with them, but really check out schedule once. Very it good. also can link to your email at uh, your uh, Google calendar as well. Yes. And you can link it to your Google calendar, your iCloud calendar, It'll give you all of those links. I um, I know we got to go, so I just really encourage everybody to go check out Schedule Once, and you do get a 14-day free trial. Is that an app? Just, w, if you Google Schedule Once, it'll lead you right over to the, uh, I, I do believe it's an app. I've been doing everything from my desktop, but it leads you right over to Once Hub. Um, I do believe they have an app. I will share that app if they do. But if they don't, like, uh, I don't know who also just helped co-sign to help me out. But if they don't have an app, it'll link, it'll link all your calendars. So when you get your alert, you'll get a Google alert from your Google uh, Gmail, or you'll get an iCloud alert to um, automatically add it to your calendar. Um, so you can, I do think there's an app, as a matter of fact, I'm looking at it now. Feeder, this is Melody. I don't think they've uh, finished, I think, setting up how they're trying to do the app. I think they're still yeah. working on it. Okay. So it's just a website um, that you can Google. Um, you'll Google schedule once, um, and it'll come up as one app. hub, and uh, then you can link it to the different calendars, and it'll block out that time. Uh, if you have other stuff scheduled uh, with your Google calendar or your other calendars, that time will already be unavailable for customers uh, to schedule appointments with you. Yes, and they give you the option to do 15 minute, 30 minute, or 60 minutes. So if you know it's somebody who is serious and maybe they want to get in the business and you want to do like a, Ivan did this for me last week and it was really awesome. We, I had a tax professional who's getting in the business. He did a quick one-on-one -on -one webinar for me because of the time. The guy really wanted to see the information. I could have blocked that off had I had scheduled once and it would automatically connect it to my Zoom. It gives them the password and the Zoom ID and Ivan could have just came on and did the webinar like we did last week. All right, guys, y'all better be prepared to do a training on that because that, that, that's, a, that's a training coming up right there. So y'all, uh, you know, get with, e, I think ESD, Aisha Betancourt, I think she's, uh, uh, she's experienced in that too as well. So y'all get with her and let's, let's put a training together on that. Um, so very good. Okay, guys. Very good. Um, uh, looks like uh, we are, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're hit our hour. Um, has, has anybody got any more questions? I, I know uh, I used to be in corporate America. We, we didn't like all the time when people would extend meetings and stuff like that. We'd be like, man, shut up. But anyways, you know, this is, uh, I do want to make sure that everybody is clear on everything and, and everybody's good to go before we drop off. Um, is everybody good? Any other questions? All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Stay safe out there. Continue to practice social distancing. Use your face covers and be blessed, all right? Trust God, love God, love people, make money. All right, guys, y'all be blessed. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Ivan. Thanks Thank for you. your time, Ivan. My pleasure.